Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and if you've ever wondered what I would do if I were the parent to five children, this video is pretty much gonna be a solid explanation for that. Don't worry, I absolutely am never of thinking of pushing five of those bad boys out of myself. No thank you very much. But my legacy heir has taken on that responsibility, is now suffering from a filthy house and today she's gonna age up into an adult. Oh my word, the fact that she had saved Strangerville, become the strongest woman in Sulani, and also pushed out five kids before the age of like what? 35? Could never be me. And speaking of those five kids, from my short lifespan legacy, I did obviously promise you all a makeover. This is a master makeover video because I'm doing all five of them in this. Obviously the two older kids aged up into teens in the last part, and then the triplets also aged up into kiddos. They all now have the same birthday, which I know is just gonna be absolute chaos. So. So the two older ones are going to be aging up into young adults next and then the three triplets are going to be aging into teenagers. I do want to go to school with them like at least once. I'm fully going to be focusing on the air, I'm not going to lie. I am a little bit sad that unfortunately I doubt I'll be able to like have all five of them in high school at the same time. However, I am counting my blessings on that front because honestly I do feel as if I would just be very very overwhelmed, as if I'm not overwhelmed enough already when it comes to playing this household. It's been such a long time since I had an eight sim household and it feels really, really weird. I'm just, like I said in the last part, glad it's not The Sims 3 because I wouldn't be able to look after this many sims like all out and about on their jobs and things like that. So yeah, makeover wise, I basically wanted to keep the essence of the children. I do find when you have like big families. I feel as if picking colours really really helps because it's kind of that like little visual aid to be like oh I correspond that colour with this child in my mind and weirdly we've seen a really strong theme of like colours and also accessories in this third generation. So Cora I actually put the wellies back on because I was like he absolutely loves Wellington boots. He's been wearing them I think pretty much since he was a toddler and he is kind of like a green and blue theme. Literally has always been again since being a toddler. Timothy had more of like a yellow, pink and blue vibe so I kind of kept that. I do see Timothy as the more like gothic one. He has a little bit of eyeshadow on. He also has like black plugs in his ears. I really actually love the way that Timothy looks. And then Barbara, the heir, by the way, I did post a poll of who the heir should be between Barbara and Carlton and Barbara won with like 68% so it is confirmed Babs is our generation 3 heir for our short lifespan legacy. Obviously all of these kids are super into basically going on a bear hunt. They believe in so many like conspiracy theories. They want to find like the answers to Bigfoot. They want to discover a yeti, they want to flip in, talk to ghosts, they're all like psychic mediums in a way and super into the unknown which honestly feels quite scary after going to watch the Nope film the other day which I'm still not over. I think I'm gonna be talking about that film for a very very long time and then Miss Carlton who I obviously regret saying this is not the baby. She's actually the middle kid. In the last part I realised that I had got all of their ages wrong. So she's the middle kid out of the triplets. A lot of you wanted justice for her but unfortunately she's not the next heir. I'm sorry to tell you all. feel like this should have been a PSA, a formal post clarifying this but I do like how Carlton kind of relates to Deandre. She, I feel like out of all of the kids even though she very much looks like a goth, she has like the eye colour of the goths. She also has like the hair of the goths. Actually, I think she has kind of bluey eyes instead of brown. So she does have a little bit of singleton in her, but she's got wavy hair. And obviously Deandre also had like super curly wavy hair too. So she's kind of a callback to him, which is really, really nice to 
obviously I kind of wanted to bring back the curls when it came to Carlton. I honestly haven't decided what these three, like what the living circumstance is going to be between these three. I honestly might have Babs live on their own, which feels weird because obviously Bryce and Bianca have lived together their whole lives as siblings and it's going to feel really, really strange. I want to keep the family home, but I do see like everyone else kind of moving out. I don't know why and it's sad to think about, but I feel like Barbara is going to like cut himself off from the family. I feel like he's going to get so stuck on like his head in the books, working on his logic, trying to like talk to the departed and things like that, that he might isolate himself in a way. So I just imagine him living in this really like big lonely house in Sulani on the beach on an old shipwreck because he can't let go. Whereas everyone else is like, no, we want to go like make our own way in the world. Oh, I'm making myself sad thinking about it. And they've not even flipping aged up into teenagers yet. I fully did not talk about Myrtle. Myrtle has not been been perceived in this. Honestly, Myrtle's just cool. I use the new kit. I feel like Myrtle thinks he's cooler than everyone else and that's okay. He's a child. He's allowed. You know what? I was gonna bake her cake but I feel like the kids are probably gonna eat it. Let's test this theory. So let's... I always want to go on bake. It makes no sense that the birthday cakes aren't part of baking. Why are they still under the cook option? Like what? Nine years into this game? When did it come out? 2014? Okay, eight years. I was being a little bit dramatic. Wait, when is the anniversary of The Sims 4? It's like late September? Have I missed it? 2nd of September 2014. Oopsies, I missed it. I mean, what is there to celebrate? It's been eight years. That's why I look dead inside. It's gonna be a happy, fun, no, not with a matcha tea cake. That is doom and gloom in a cake. Let's go for a cheeky little coconut cake. We live in Sulani. We have fresh coconuts. Oh no, why are you scared? What's going on here? Startled by a ghost. That is your grandmother. Why are you startled by her? Oh my god, to be fair, if I saw my granny death dropping like that, I would also be freaking terrified. Hillary's a notable newcomer. Since when? Actually, I do think she's been a notable newcomer almost her entire life. And in death. No, do not imply that your grandma is overrated. She would be spinning in her grave if she was currently in it. Let's ask her about her interests. I mean, this is kind of sad that we have to like introduce our grandchild as a freaking stranger. We adore you, grandma. Grandma, we love you. You grew up in Manchester. You know that song, claim to fame right there. Alexander, why are you sad? Missing family. You say that as if we haven't just got like five kids and also moved into a brand new house. Are you talking about your real family? The goths? Because if you are, they haven't got in touch with us. So like, that's not on you, sir. That's on them. They're the grown-ups. Bryce is like, absolutely do not wake me up. Oh, what are you two getting up to? Wait, weren't you just upstairs? How did you get down? so quickly. We're gonna share a secret. These two look so similar. It's actually wild to me. But let's, um, yeah, we're sharing a secret about being able to talk to the dead. We actually, Babs is already a level two in the medium skill. I got a little notification about it, didn't I? Well, if I could bloody find it. Carlton has started, oh no, Carlton also started it, by the way, because we can do group seances. Host seances with other sims. Group seance provide increased benefits. Teamwork makes the dream work. See? Isn't it great when you're literally born into a team of three? Like, you come as a package deal to the ghost. They are rubbing their hands at getting access to Amazon Prime through the triplets. <laughs> The ghost just absolutely hogging their Amazon Prime and Netflix accounts. I can see it happening. Psst, whisper me the password. Bryce, I, you know what? 
I'm gonna let you play with dolls. If that's how you wanna spend your birthday, staring at a rocket ship. I don't know why you're stood staring at the fake one when we quite literally have a big one in our backyard. Also, this flew under the radar to me. Don't ask me why we have these, but on our porch, little Deandre and then also Greta have left a de-stressing deconcoction. Decoction? I have never uh, pronounce that word. Why does that sound familiar but also doesn't sound concoction. Why is it not a concoction? I'm confused. Ooh, Bianca spoiling us with a fruit cobbler. Let's go have a fruit cobs for breakfast. And then also what we need to do. Mm, actually i was gonna take the day off work but considering bryce can work from home and it's never that stressful it's like research historic battles which honestly does sound like a chore to me and i definitely wouldn't want to do that but it's not a chore to her or it's like kick someone in the head oh jesus the ghosts keep ruining everything alexander can you repair this for me real quick and then you are actually gonna take the day off work uh take a vacation day from the scientist career because i want to treat our wifey she's our heir we're still focusing on her skills and stuff like that so i feel as if it is only right to celebrate her birthday with her even though she forgot alexander's you know what i'm actually gonna have babs the heir thank you to everyone who voted i'm gonna have him actually make some friends all right we've finished with that you need to get ready for the day so use this and take a shower mushroom steak you know what I love the aesthetic of mushrooms. I'm not really a big fan of the texture of actual mushrooms, but that does sound good. I actually do think I could get into mushrooms if like I just ordered something that tasted really good. Practice ordering around. I have no idea how we bloody do that. I've forgotten. Barbara has met Octavia whilst at school. Octavia looks like a character. Octavia looks like someone that I very much would want to be friends with. One of you said it might be my what remains of Edith Finch phase, but I think you should get Barbara into being like a Victorian like period drama actor. And honestly, I do feel as if I have dressed him like a little Victorian boy, which I only want to continue. I want to style all of his fits in a little Victorian era. Bathroom cash, whilst taking a quick break, Break. Chorus buys some money just sitting on a sink. Uh, save it. Who says formal education doesn't pay off? By the end of the day, Cora will leave this school a little wiser and a little richer. That's the best feeling on a night out, innit? Carlton's science experiment exploded and made a big mess along with a frightening another student. Academic punishment, no real harm done. Piss off. My kid was exploring. They were being smart. Oh my days. Cora... <laughs> Literally found 120 simoleon note and was like, I'm gonna hack the rest of the system. I wanna help my parents pay the bills. Maybe secure your computers. Yeah, I can't help it that my kid is that smart. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, because we have five kids and obviously we, well, to be fair, this was meant for the second generation. I added the filthy lot challenge because I was like five kids, two of them are teenagers. Also, you have triplets. They're gonna be making a mess everywhere. So yeah, we now have filthy because it felt right for the story honestly probably gonna go for like a haunted one when it comes to the third generation but we'll probably add that when barbara ages up into like a teenager so this brand new big spa has just opened up in sulani so we're gonna head on over there with Bryce and Alex and they're just gonna kind of have a day to themselves. Do I trust Bianca with looking after the kids when they get home from school? Absolutely not. She's gonna be sat around the seance table right there with them. She's gonna be like, right, my witchy little babies. This is exactly what you do to conjure the dead. She's a terrible, terrible <laughs> influence, but I'm honestly really, really here for it. Yep, go get changed into your little robies. Today is all about you, Bryce. I mean, let's be real. This whole Let's Play has been about you. You're kind of a little bit needy, but I'll allow it because you're my heir and you are my favorite child. I feel like Bryce might be my favorite heir like throughout the whole thing. Oh my God, 
Bella. Where the hell have you been, Loka? <gasps> you look like DeAndre. Father, is this you? Why does everyone look like DeAndre? I swear, I needed to delete this hair. It's been spawning on my Sims for about six years and I've just never ever deleted it. You know what? I feel like Alexander needs a rejuvenating one. He's getting older. He's got five kids. Those little wrinkles are definitely gonna be starting to affect him. And then we're gonna go for a relaxing one for Bryce, considering it is her birthday. Oh, I don't like the color of Alexander's one. It just looks like you have like a piece of Billy Bear. You look like Billy Bear. Oh, that's unfortunate, my guy. Hmm, I think we're gonna go quite neutral on the pedicure. Oh my God, this spa is absolutely amazing. Which by the way, it's the most popular on the gallery. So of course it's amazing. It's by uh, Penny Scarlet over on the gallery. So big shout out to you. Thank you for building this. You've got like this little like masseuse station. <gasps> I hope there's not little fish in here. Didn't they get rid of those in the UK? I swear they're banned. Then over this way, you have the little sauna. You can sunbathe if you want. Um, there's a little fish bar, which no one's currently on. There's a drinks bar. And then there's also like a hot tub and a dining area. And then here you have the yoga out the back. And then also a little gym. I love how it's all like built on the sea. And then you have like swing sets over here. You also have some like floaties. I don't mean floaters, don't worry. No one shat in the sea. Actually, they probably have. I feel like Bianca, all her diving that she's done over the years and stuff like that, definitely feel. 100% she has shat in the sea. Alexander is living his best life. He's just like, wow, I feel invigorated. Aw, Bryce actually looks really relaxed. Oh, you kind of look like a brat stall. Why are you giving me a big brat stall energy? I think it might be like the eyeliner, but also your face shape. She's never really looked like a brat stall to me. I'm seeing her differently. <gasps> My favorite, my best boy, Jeffrey Langrab. I love him. I'm sorry, I will forever be a Jeffrey Langrab apologizer. You should know this about me. Specifically, my version of him. My townie makeover of him, always a sympathizer. Never a simp, actually. I do simp a little bit for Jeffrey Langrab, but only my townie version, not just the base game version of him. Absolutely not. Oh, you're missing your sister? No, she's definitely not. She's just like, oh my God, I wonder what is happening at home because Jesus. I wanna go join a brain boosting class. Wait! She just brought herself over here. Bianca, you were meant to be looking after the kiddos. She's like, absolutely not. Me and my dump truck are actually gonna just be treating ourselves to free drinks on Bryce's birthday tab. Ah, uh, forever a scrounger. I can't even call her a scrounger. She's not even mooching off us. I couldn't imagine not living with her. Are you getting uncomfortable in your face mask? Are these good tingles or bad? Time to take the face mask off tingles. Ah, I should have probably done that before I started a brain boosting yoga sesh. Imagine you just get like scarred from a face mask on your birthday. That's so embarrassing for you. Bianca truly is just living her best life. Why do I kind of want her to just like start hitting on the bartender? Ask completely inappropriate question. Let's crudely compliment his appearance. We do not know this man at all, but she's like, Oh, hey, handsome. Oh, he's kind of into it. Let's ask if he is single. He's a, he's a handsome man. What can I say? Let's try and exchange numbers with him. Sion is single. Jeffrey's like, you get it, bestie. You do that. I wish I could, but unfortunately I've been captured by Nancy. Now, um, he is a very attractive man. He's into it. Oh my word. I cannot believe it was this easy to bag this man. What charm does Bianca have? Is she actually, has she fully become a spellcaster? <gasps> oh, 
planning to spend some casual friend time together. Remember once upon a time when I was gonna get Erwin and Bianca together and then that just like never happened. You know what? We're getting our flirt on right now. So I'm gonna say I think you should go for it. Live your best life, Erwin. We have both moved on. We're both adults now. I just wanna have my fun later in life. Bryce, please don't fall asleep. Bryce, wake up. I don't like this. Bryce, wake up. Hey, hello. <laughs> it's gonna absolutely kill. How do I take it off? Remove facial mask. Oh no. <gasps> oh, she doesn't have the rash. Oh my God, incredible techers. I wanna invite him to stay the night. Sion is absolutely loving this. If he agrees to stay the night, I would stay here all night and honestly watch the flirtations between these two. I wanna imagine that Bianca would just like steal this yacht and be like, oh yeah, it's mine. Like you can stay on my yacht for the night. She's giving Bill energy from Mamma Mia. Except this time around, she doesn't actually own the yacht. But it is her sister's birthday and I kind of don't want to steal her limelight. So we're going to head back home with Sion in tow. Bryce gets a birthday present, trip to the spa. Bianca gets a birthday present in Sion. I mean, I know which one I would prefer to unwrap. I'm just saying, no, as a lesbian supporter. Sion is barking up the wrong tree with me, but thankfully for him, Bianca is single and so, so ready to mingle. Have your first kiss. Do it. I dare you. And then we are gonna go upstairs. Uh, let's open up this bad boy. Nope, not Sion. I'm not talking about him anymore. Our coconut cake is still intact. Very nice. None of the kids have eaten it for dinner, which is shocking considering the babysitter was at the spa with us getting her feckin' flirt on. And then let's go blow out our candles. Kids, hands off the feckin' cake. Okay, whilst everyone's celebrating, we are going to more choices. Oh, we can pillow fight. Oh my god, please go and do it. Pillow fight with Sion. Oh no, Alexander's like gone to bed. Oh, little Myrtle is the only one who's celebrating. He's like, mom, don't worry. As the baby of the fam, I know how it is. I'll be the one to give you attention. Adulthood, fulfilling dreams. I mean, you say that as if she hasn't already completed her two lifetime aspirations. To be fair, all we have to keep working on is our skills. Honestly, I'm just like here for the pillow, pillow fight at this point. I'm so... <laughs> Why am I obsessed with Bianca? She's just like become the diva that I never expected her to become. The fact that she just has her birth certificate chilling is also hilarious to me. I can't have this as the thumbnail. I will literally, I will get eaten off YouTube. The algorithm would be like not safe for anyone. This would get restricted to an 18 plus if I had that as my thumbnail. So I'm not gonna to do that because it did indeed look like she had been spending some money in Victoria's Secret. Ooh, now we can woohoo. Okay, we are absolutely gonna do that. And guess what? We can't physically have any more children in this. Bryce is just like, what is happening? This has a glass door, so you can definitely see through it. Can we keep the kids distracted? Hey, how about we uh we we go make Auntie proud and we go commune with the dead with the triplets. Bianca has learned Sion's woohoo interests you. It says in creator sim, interested in woohoo with Bianca only. Oh no, Cora. <gasps> you have been sufficiently, oh, you know what? I was gonna say you have been sufficiently scarred for life, but in fact that is me. Why have you got those toe camels on your feet? I say that as if I don't wear shoes like that for paddle boarding. I know it's very, very unfortunate. Hey, you're meant to be working on your medium skill. Your siblings are out here. Are you serious right now? The one true heir has been kicked out. Myrtle is like, is anything working? Like, I thought we were good at this. These two are just like, Ugh, we're not very good at this without Babs. Babs is the one who's in control of the spirits in this household. Fire, where's the fire? Who, what? Hello? 
Where is the fire? Excuse me? Oh, okay, okay, I found the fire. I found the fire. Let's just extinguish it with the freeze ray. Hey, if you can't use a freeze ray for a fire, what can you- Alexander Goth, I'm gonna need you to freaking get rid of it. Yes, nice. Smooth. You're as cold as ice. Oh no, everyone's scared of fires. Why is the mayor now a firefighter? I really cannot deal with this. Lonely recess, no one wanted to play with me. It's cause you see dead people. Damn, look at Bryce's traits. I've never, I don't think, had a sim with this many traits. Right, who's actually, okay, I think the twins are the only ones with like fear of fire. Okay, I can get over that, that's fine. I just won't have you two cook. Which to be fair, looking at those faces, you have very suspicious faces, boys. But on that note, I am gonna wrap it up here. I love this family. I'm so glad that I was able to save this save and that we no longer have the auto aging glitch. I honestly don't know if we'll get to the top of her career or not. I'm hoping that when she actually does reach like level 10 career, she can like apply for promotions more easily, fingers crossed, or else she's never gonna get to level 10 in her career. But thank you all so much for tuning in and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.